Okay, so here's the Ponderosa from the street side. And what we've got here is an old house with an old yard and lots of old trees and old bushes. We had uh, made a whole lot of improvements to the outside except to try to keep the uh, weeds under control. <laughs> but um, I'll give you a little quick walk around on the outside. As you can see, a little bump out on the side, probably similar to your floor plan. That bump out is where the uh, bathroom and the kitchen are for the main level. And the windows on the front are actually ground level for the um, study and bedroom inside. And the upstairs window there that you see is for the uh, loft. We have a detached garage, which is my haven. Uh, nobody's allowed in there but, <laughs> but me. That's where I have my workout area. I keep my motorcycle, all that kind of stuff. All right. Okay, from here, uh, I'll just show you off to the right, going down what used to be a boat launch. If you look down through the trees there, you can see our boathouse which I'll uh, be giving you a little closer look at that here in just a moment. So standing in the backyard looking towards the water, boathouse, garage, ground level of the home, and upstairs level. And my wife would have a fit if she knew I was going to show you guys this before I pressure wash the deck. So, at any rate, one more time around. And to tell you the truth, I hope that it's not showing up that well because one of my one of the things on my honeydew list is to pressure wash the deck. And uh, you may can tell I haven't gotten around to that like yet. This is the side of the house where. Um, not much going on except the chimney facing the water to this side and then you see the casement window there uh, that goes into the downstairs bedroom where my parents stay and that's back around to the front yard facing the street hello thank you from the deck the garage uh, the woods <laughs> our boathouse and then we undercut this section looking down toward the water this year so we have a better view of, of what's going on and you can see the walkway down to the uh, to the boathouse now this right here is something I'd very much recommend if you don't already have is get someone to build you some wooden walkways um, so you have better access to the water area um, they tend to blend with the scenery and um, water level you can see basically we've left a lot of our backyard natural there's hydrangeas growing to the right uh, the house the garage which I know the sun is not exactly in the best place to show that and coming down from the back side of the garage there's a walkway not a walkway but a path which uh, you can use that or the stairs to get down here and of course it brings you on down to, uh, to our boathouse and a view across the lake towards the bridge which is Highway 77 going into Rainbow City so we've got a fairly nice view from here and since we've had the property undercut you can actually see the house this year which different, very much different than last year. I'm going to let you guys come in and look around a little bit if you promise not to pay real close attention to anything except, except the structure of the house. Okay, so this is my parents living area. Um, we added a little kitchenette for them down here back in the back is a pantry and then as you move across fireplace living area and one of the things that we really like about the house obviously the flagstone fireplace which is very pretty but also 
We chose this house because it leaves the view to the outside and down toward the water for my parents. So these French doors here really bring the light in from the outside. And then, of course, there's a bath off to this side, laundry room, closet, and bedroom. And I'll show you the bedroom, just primarily show you there's a window here that brings in outside light for the bedroom as well. Alright, so the stairs are over here. It's another door going into the bedroom. And then alongside the fireplace stairwell. And we'll walk on up into the main to the main level. Come up the stairs from here you see straight ahead the kitchen, the living area, the fabulous fireplace. And coming down from the front, the glass facing out toward the front of the river. And then the uh, upstairs loft area. To the back, we made this room into computer room, study, library, of course, bathroom to this side. You're not going to get a close look at all this. Bedroom to this side. As you can see, the counter is wood and the hardwood floors. I believe you mentioned you had hardwood in your main level. And the kitchen is just white painted wood. We're in the process of doing some updates in there. We have a new range stovetop order coming in this next week. And continuing around to the staircase one more time. The corner that catches everything. And then fireplace. And then going up the stairs. Man cave. Okay, never mind that we're cleaning out closets for Goodwill. Uh, there again, toward the front, view of the trees if that's showing up, and down toward the water, and obviously down into the main level. And of course, man cave is nothing special. It's just a an area that we made into a den, closet on this side, bathroom on this side, um, hutch. Uh, no man cave would be complete without a big screen. Nice walk-in closet on this side with plenty of room. And of course the perch. We actually have more space up above here uh, into, into the loft, above the loft, and we use that primarily for storage in that area. So, that's your 50 cent tour. Uh, you guys are going to have to send me some photos or some pics um, of your place so we can make some comparisons.